mind. Oh, uh. Hey everyone, this is the Kevin Play Show. Welcome back to this new video. Today, I wanted to talk about five things I would love to see in the next Animal Crossing game for the Switch. I've loved the Animal Crossing series since the GameCube days, and I'm one of those that really believes that this game will be shown at E3 of 2018. I just really, really believe that they will show something, because it's just one of those games that deserve to be on the switch so without further ado here are the five things i would love to see in the next animal crossing game for the switch let me know down below what you would like to see and enjoy One of the best features of New Leaf was the ability of being the mayor. Because of this, you had some control of what was happening around town. One of the greatest examples was being able to customize your town by building public works projects, which really added personality to your town. What I would like to see is this role coming back on the Switch, but even better. More abilities and features to make your town feel unique and special. Let's not forget a problem that everyone had in New Leaf, being that villagers would place their house anywhere they wanted in town often destroying flowers and trees you had in the spot. By being able to decide where a villager can live, we can avoid having these problems in the future and keeping your town nice and organized. I won't say that newly festivities were bad, but some were repetitive. What I mean is that there wasn't any original ideas, they were more based on real life festivities such as Easter and Christmas. What I would like to see in the next game is new events and activities every month, and not necessarily real festivities. Look at Animal Crossing on the GameCube, for example, they had the sports fair week which every day had a different activity, or like in Wild World where you had the acorn festival. These different and unique activities make you want to be excited for the next special day, and not just for old boring toy day or Halloween. Something I loved of Animal Crossing Pocket Camp and Happy Home Designer was that you were able to customize your villagers more than just their clothes. You were able to dress them just how you dress yourself, with hats and glasses. I feel that if you were able to give them a hat and they would actually put it on, your villagers would have much more personality. And while I'm at it, I would also like to see more customization for your character. Maybe add neckwear or bracelets, that would even be enough to open a jewelry shop in town and making you look more stylish. What made me play Animal Crossing New Leaf for more than a thousand hours was definitely the online. Never was so easy to play online with friends or strangers. Simply connecting to the internet and visiting the island online gave me hours of fun. Meeting random people, playing tours, and visiting each other's towns was the best. Now for the Switch, in my opinion, it should be similar but not the same. Maybe have some other way to meet random people and chat, not just the island again. Which I don't think will happen, but just saying. The badges they introduced in New Leaf were basically achievements, and I really like them because it was proof of how much you played, and every time you get one, you get excited. So why not keep the same feature? Of course, adding new ones and harder to get. Another thing I liked of New Leaf was the update of Welcome Amiibo, in which they added a new feature called the Town Initiatives, that were basically daily and weekly missions. I think having this feature in the next game would be great for those days that not much is going around town, and keeping the game fresh. So that is my list of things I want to see in the next Animal Crossing game for the Switch. Let me know in the comments below what would you like to see. Thanks for watching.